from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Conga, Connect West 2018. Brought to you by Conga. Welcome back everybody, Jeff Frick here at theCUBE. We're at the Conga Connect West event at the Thirsty Bear at Salesforce Dreamforce, downtown San Francisco. Mark Benioff, he said it, 171,000 people. I don't know where they all fit. Please don't bring your car, but we're here. Thirsty Bear is a place to hang. There's no lines at the bar, no lines at the food. This is a place to be, so we're happy to be here. Have our next guest from Conga. Uh, we've got Sawyer Martin, he's the Director of Product Management from Say Conga. Say Sayer, Martin. Sayer, I'm sorry. You Sayer, good it. to see you. Uh, and Thanks also to... Mason White, the Director of Product Strategy. Mason, great to see you. Nice to meet you, Jeff. Absolutely, so Thanks Sayer, you, uh, you came in on an acquisition we were looking almost exactly six months ago. That's right. Orchestrate, yep. so what is Orchestrate and uh, how's it been so far? Yeah, it's been, it's been really good. So Orchestrate started as really a wealth management tool for process orchestration, so inside of Salesforce. So managing end-to-end -end processes for wealth management firms uh, inside of Salesforce. That's a combination of human and automated work that are happening. Tasks being generated, so say, what, what, being type, what type of, uh, of tasks and stuff? Where is that? So a task to tell someone, so a task in Salesforce is essentially a, an instruction to have someone do something. Right, but so, I'm curious, because you said very specifically it was for financial management? Yeah, so financial management, uh, there's um, moving money. Uh, generating investment policy statements for okay. clients. Um, all kinds of different things that you might do, review meetings uh, for clients. And how did you pick that vertical to, to get started? Well, we came out of, so the company was actually spun out of a wealth management firm. Okay. And that wealth management firm was on Salesforce, couldn't find a way to automate their business, basically. Wanted to take those processes that they were living every day or that were in someone's head and put it down in a system that they could then use to train people as they grew. And so, um, it was born out of that wealth management firm, and knowing that industry, we thought, as a small company, let's establish a beachhead in that market, and then move elsewhere. The tool is built generically, so it applies to any, uh, any industry, really, but we knew that industry the best. And so so did we you, focused did there. Did you spin out of the, or no, you weren't, you spin out of the wealth management company, or did those people who founded it right. left to figure if these guys need it, there's probably a few more that do as well? Yep, so it was a former. Spun out of the wealth management firm, and then took it as, as this independent entity, not doing wealth management at all, but doing technology exclusively. Right, right, and yep. doing process flow and, and right. task management, right. those types of things. That's right. All right, so Mason, how does this fit in your portfolio strategy? Uh, that's a great question, and uh, actually, uh, Sayer and I met at Dreamforce uh, 17 last year. Uh, what, uh, in terms of uh, orchestrate, what we've done is really, um, Certainly we're keeping the existing customer base, but we're bringing that type of uh, workflow capability into other areas of Conga. Uh, so as you look at the Conga suite of products, that workflow and approval process is really something that is vital for things like contract lifecycle management. Who needs to be involved in reviewing and approving a contract depends greatly on the size of the contract, the level of complexity, the types of changes that are being asked for. So we're in the process of bringing orchestrate capabilities into various of our product lines. First one that we're uh, showing to customers is how we've brought it into Conga contracts for Salesforce. Uh, we'll be bringing it into other elements, uh, really through a, uh, a suite type of play uh, we're calling it a platform internally, and um, as uh, we mature that, um, it'll become available to other members of the uh, Conga product right. suite. So you guys have this just interesting collection of products that I assume all started as, as silos, but they've all got this kind of interplay between the process flow, with the contracts, the document creation, the contract kind of management. They're all mm -hmm. very, very, you know, kind of different tranches of the same tree. Yeah, very much so. Uh, and in fact, I'd throw in our uh, recent uh, acquisition of Councilytics uh, with the uh, artificial intelligence and machine uh, learning capabilities related to contract analysis. There's a fairly consistent thesis in a lot of our recent, uh, um, whether it's been product launches or product acquisitions, around building out capabilities 
related to contract lifecycle management. It's not the only place where those things come into play, uh, but it's certainly the one that uh, is exciting people as we go to market. Right, right. So say you've been with them for six months now. How's the uh, how's been the the absorption? It's been it's been really good. Um, we didn't fully understand when we were acquired that uh, sort of what the plan was, and we didn't get a lot of direction when we first came aboard. Um, but we knew that contract lifecycle management is a powerful piece of the business. It's a growing piece, and it's one that's increasingly important to customers. And so. We looked at that from a process perspective and, and we're really been, we've really been focused on finding the gaps there and taking what was, as you said, a silo, going from the contract management piece, uh, generating the documents, doing the negotiations, and ultimately signing the documents and tying it all together with the process engine we'd already built. Right. Yeah. So is, is Orchestrate is go to market today still as a, as, a, as a single product or are you just getting completely embedded in all the other ones? I, I think to Mason's point, it becomes obvious to use more than one Conga product. Right, right. When you buy one, at least one other one will make sense for you and, and Orchestrate included. Right. Because orchestration is it's kind of like AI, and I'm sure you know where and how you guys are going to mm -hmm. apply AI in all these various applications. And I don't want to buy a bucket of AI, I want all my other applications to work better, work faster, autofill, auto select, you know, take more and more of those manual steps out of the process. That's right, yeah, augment the human mind in many ways, right? Come in at those points in the process where it can add value or give you insights that you wouldn't have otherwise had. Right, right. So based, I'm just curious from a product strategy point of view, you guys have made a lot of acquisitions. Um, yes. Got some new money in the war chest and you know, a, a really solid team of, of senior execs that have worked together a lot. The, the band is back together is a big theme that I've seen all day today. <laughs> yeah. So when you're looking at kind of buy versus build decisions, what are some of the, the things you're thinking about as you kind of continue to build out this suite of, of kind of cross-functional capability? Uh, we've, we're always looking at things where they buy, build, or, or license. Uh, so there are things that, uh, as we're uh, looking at them right now, and I'm not going to mention them, the uh, decision is between buy, build, or, or license in certain types of capabilities. Really depends on uh, what's the maturity of the technology out there, uh, is it something that uh, we need that others have right now and they've got strong, uh, could be a strong OEM business model, uh, or it could be something that uh, is a uh, you know, rapidly growing area that we need to get in on, own it and tune it for our needs specifically. All right, well, great story and um, sure you're going to see that orchestrate stuff all over the place. That's what we hope, <laughs> all that's right. what we're working towards. All right, so Sayer, Mason, thanks for uh, taking a few minutes to tell your story and inviting us here to Conga Connect West. Great, nice thanks to talk to you, Jeff. Oh, my pleasure, all right. You're watching theCUBE. Like I said, we're at Conga Connect West at Salesforce Dreamforce. Thanks for watching, see you next time.